hi everyone welcome welcome back to my youtube channel oh my god guys it's been a long time since i sat down to film i know you guys might not notice because you know i've been uploading videos but in reality it's been a long time like it's been a long time <laughs> anyways guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're seeing this face for the first time where have you been where have you been <laughs> well anyways thank you so much for deciding to visit this channel i do hope you become a family member by clicking on the subscribe button below okay so guys in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys my life update generally pregnancy um my symptoms so far of course i'm in my third trimester yes <laughs> yes and um just everything that has been happening with me lately just been low-key observing my life you know putting things in order making preparation for this baby and um, a whole lot of things okay so i'm going to be discussing everything that i can remember on this video in this video <laughs> yeah and please in case you're hearing any noise the fan is on the weather is hot i am hot so <laughs> i really cannot film this without this fan so you just have to bear with me okay guess what guys currently now i am 33 weeks pregnant okay <laughs> if you guys have been following my videos you know that i've been scared to get into third trimester i mean <laughs> if not for the fact that you have to get into third trimester before you'll be able to you know get to your delivery date i would have actually prayed against this third trimester i was so scared and it's because of people I mean everybody is like your third trimester is always the worst part of your pregnancy everything that happens to you your first trimester is going to come back even worse you know plus the weight of the baby everything is just going to be bad google itself was not helping google itself was not helping i mean like anytime i google third trimester in pregnancy they are always saying you're going to be weak you're going to be this one like lots of lots of bad things they had to say so it got me scared and trust me when i say my first trimester was not funny those first three months was not funny at all for me so someone coming to tell me that everything that had happened to me in that first trimester was going to repeat itself but this time in a worst case it just it was it was mentally i don't know the english but it really dealt with me mentally but you know we got into the third trimester and guys 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 oh god <laughs> believe me when i say this third trimester is the best trimester ever my second trimester was good this third trimester is the best i mean i mean like it's the best i can't even come and start telling you guys um these are the symptoms i'm having in this third trimester because truth is there's is no symptom i'm just like a good human being i'm just perfect the only thing is of course <laughs> i can feel the weight of the baby so you know sitting down standing up you know lying down and all those discomforts which is like a normal thing aside from that nothing else like literally nothing my peeing i pee more than usual but it has reduced i don't pee as often as i peed in my second trimester the headache that I was always complaining about it from my first trimester to my second trimester has stopped like throughout my third trimester i think third trimester begins can i even remember i think 28 weeks right or 27 weeks i beg i'll put it on the screen when i <laughs> when i remember like my brain is not it's not it's not working that well yeah but the moment i got into my third trimester it was as if i became a new being everything every ill symptoms i was having stopped i no longer have headache like, the only thing that i am feeling now which in a way i'm kind of happy that is happening is in digestion i mean my portion of food has reduced drastically like <laughs> I, I eat a lot like i can eat like <laughs> six or seven times in a day don't don't look at me don't look at me <laughs> I can do that but the portions are very little because once I try to eat like a normal person once I get a normal portion of food and I eat it and I force myself to eat it all I'll throw it up so I just have to eat very little which is a good thing because I feel like it's going to help me watch my weight because of course <laughs> 
I've added weight. That one is like an obvious fact. So the fact that I have reduced my portion of food right now is actually a good thing for me. I think you know yeah and after eating i don't get to lie down i don't get to relax i just have to like walk around or you know sit down for a very long time for the food to digest it looks as though my digestive system is now very small my digestion process is now very 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 slow so i have to eat little and you know have to like walk around or sit down for the food to have enough time and space to digest yeah so that just eat and then um, of course breathlessness <laughs> i run out of breath a lot like a lot like i complained in the i don't know if it's the last video i uploaded i don't even know the last video i uploaded yeah in the last in one of the videos i made anyways i run out of breath a lot which is like i feel like it's a normal thing for most pregnant women i've seen pregnant women you know pant a lot so it's happening to me isn't a surprise and isn't a surprise and i'm like okay i just have to you know talk less and rest more so yeah there's sometimes when i just say okay let me film and i'll just think of how i have to keep pausing the video you know to catch my breath and all of that and i'm like ah i beg <laughs> let's wait and the truth is i actually wanted to film this video when i'll be like 35 weeks or 36 weeks gone but i was like i don't know what the future holds i don't know what those weeks will be like i don't know what how i'll be in you know 35 36 weeks so let me just film it now that i'm still feeling myself i can still do things you know i'm just like brand new of course god will definitely make me continue to be like this till i put to bed because I'm actually loving the way I'm feeling. I'm talking a lot, but yeah, this video is an update. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, the truth is my third trimester has been the best so far. First trimester was not funny at all. Second trimester was, hmm, it was good. It was good compared to the first trimester, it was good. But this third trimester is like the best. The when I mean the best, is like the best. Then the only thing ahead, there's one thing that I've been doing me lately. It just started, I think, a week ago. In the night, I just feel this kind of pain in my leg, from my hip to my foot. I mean, I can't explain that pain, but it is always, when it starts, it is so painful. I can't stand, I can't move. I just have to like, you know, just try to massage my leg, but it's the pain is so painful so painful <laughs> the pain is so severe but thankfully this past few nights it hasn't happened to me i mean i've complained and they're like it happens to some pregnant women unfortunately i had to be one of them but thankfully my own does not happen every night it just every other night but lately it hasn't happened so i hope it has stopped i mean <laughs> Yeah, I hope that stopped. So yeah, I think that's just all for my third trimester. So in case, in case you're, you know, you're pregnant and people are putting in so much fear, just, just don't put, don't allow that fear get to you. Cause trust me when I say I allowed it get to me. I, oh God, I thought a lot about this third trimester. Like you guys don't even know. Like I thought a lot about it. It scared the crap out of me. So don't let people or Google get to you. In fact, stay stay away from Google. Can use it possible because even up to now I still go to Google for a whole lot of things. But you know, just Google it, but don't let it get to you. That's just what I have to advise you. And then also, you know, I also, I said this was going to be like a life update as well. Um, I have finally gotten a help well not recently though she has been here for a while but I was like okay let me just wait let me you know observe her, observe her of <laughs> let me watch her and understand the kind of person she is understand if it's somebody that I can live with or somebody that can live with me someone that can cope with you know her abilities and all of that so yeah I finally did get a help and the thing is the age is not what i wanted in the first place i actually wanted someone older someone that you know that, that can do lots of things but it didn't work out the way i wanted well 
that's a story for another day it didn't work out the way i wanted so i had to opt for this one she still goes to school she goes to secondary school but thankfully her school is not far from the house here like for my window i can see her school so like i don't have anything to bother in that aspect so far she's been good she's been okay i mean she's a human being she has her own flaws but it's been okay because <laughs> i told you guys how i was weak like very weak in my first trimester and i literally was doing nothing in this house like nothing the only thing i was doing was eat sleep like you guys know the food gist if you've not watched that video the links will be in the description box just go and watch it so you understand what i'm saying so um i really needed help my husband was very very helpful very helpful and i was telling my mom um please help me find someone please help me find someone she was telling me you know it's still early in your marriage you know you're supposed to spend the time alone with your husband blah blah which i get her point but i was seeing my husband doing lots of things so i needed someone to come easy i mean he has his own business to run so he he needs his own time because he was like doing everything so luckily we got somebody and so far so good but then the advice i would give you people the advice i'll give you that i did for myself which i'm really grateful for is anybody you're bringing into your home to live with you especially when you know this person is going to be living with you and possibly going to cater or like care for your kids at some point take the person to a hospital i did that i took her the moment she got to the house the next day i took her to a hospital we ran all the tests when i mean all the tests i mean it cost me money but is is an expense that i made that i am not regretting she ran all the when i mean like all the tests possible like all the tests because this person is like a total stranger coming into your home you don't know where they've been to you don't know the kind of lifestyle they've lived like you really do not know so i did run all the tests on her you know it wasn't bad it wasn't as bad so what was discovered was you know something that was, that could be handled <laughs> of course if it was things that could not be handled she would have been sent back to her family because i cannot come and you know <laughs> i can't come and invite what i cannot handle into my home of course this is not be the last test i mean i do routine check up for myself my husband does the same for himself and she's now a part of this home so of course it will also be done for her but you know so far so good it's been nice having her around i've been having lots of relief but i mean i still cook the meal i eat i don't know i don't know how to let somebody cook my food anytime i don't have the time to cook or i don't have the strength to cook or i just don't feel like i call my mom she comes and she like cooks and then i save it up in the freezer and when i want to eat i just bring it out you know the normal thing but yeah so far I'm really grateful she's in the house here, at least housework and all of that. We've gotten relief and she goes to school. And yeah, that's just that's just what this video is about. <laughs> I also wanted to tell you guys, and then of course, of course, I have as it stands now, I'm ready for this baby to come out. I know <laughs> the baby can't come out now because I mean it's premature, it's not yet mature, but I've I'm ready. I mean i've gotten everything needed i've set up well maybe yeah i've set up everything that needs to be set up i've gotten everything i think the only thing that i have not done is pack my hospital bag and i've not done that because i need to do it with you guys but everything that needs to be in the hospital bag is ready the hospital required list i mean the hospital has their own list aside from my own you know stuff like <laughs> All of that everything is ready Sha. it's just for me to pack it in the bag that i'll be going to the hospital with which i'll definitely pack with you guys so expect the video anytime from now and um yeah that's just it i mean if this baby comes now everything has been set everything has been bought everything is ready i am mentally ready i am emotionally ready i mean i can't even wait <laughs> we still have a long time to go i mean i have like a month ish right maybe this is 
it's still long ago. <laughs> I mean, I don't know when this will come out. I don't know if it will be 40 weeks. If it's 40 weeks, that means I still have 7 weeks. Oh my god, it's too big. <laughs> but I'm definitely praying that this baby comes out before 40 weeks. I mean, worse, worse come to worse, it should come out at exactly 40 weeks. It should not exceed. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys will help me. Pray to God. It should not exceed. Oh god. <laughs> Anyways, this is just what I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know when next I'll be carrying up this phone <laughs> to record. Probably when I'm packing up what will be my hospital bag. And I think that will just be it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me all this while. Trust me, I'm really, really, really grateful. Um, thank you guys so much for the love so far. Oh my God, you guys are like the best, like, the best the best i'm really grateful thank you so much um you know any question you have for me do drop it in the comment section of course i'll definitely definitely answer you guys in the comment section i'll probably make a video answering your questions and um thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you have not please do subscribe and um love like this video <laughs> and of course share the video to whomever you feel would enjoy it or would benefit watching from it okay thank you so much guys i'm really excited thank you continue to pray for me you know <laughs> all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye